are doing well in your faith journey as I am adding another episode to my journey, my experience. Is that what I called it? That's embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to take a moment to explain something that happened to me. Uh, it was a while ago. I just haven't had a chance to record anything. And that can happen to you. And it is one of those things where you think you're doing really well and something happens and you're like, okay, still got to keep going, still got to be stronger in my faith. So what happened to me was I was horribly tricked by Satan. Um, I have discussed my interactions, well, not interactions, my moments episodes with Satan attacking me and his demons attacking me before. Um, and it was obvious. It was obvious. We evil. Um, Satan was coming after me uh, as he usually does when those who were stuck in his clutches for so long leave him. Uh, you become a very strong target when you choose the Lord over him. And I obviously was growing in my faith, doing good, becoming strong, and those kind of attacks stopped, which made me happy, which thought that I meant, you know, I'm, I'm becoming more powerful in my faith, and maybe Satan has given up. Um, Satan will not give up. He will become more cunning. And unfortunately, I completely let my guard down because I thought I was good. You know, I was safe, like I passed the finish line, but I didn't. So I thought I was praying. I was praying, but I thought I was conversing with Jesus. Uh, it turns out it was Satan, and it's just what happened. You know, I was all the people who are closest to me. I worry deeply about. I mean, I worry about so many people in this world. It's just, just their souls are in danger. They've fallen away, and they they don't even know. Um, that's heavy. But there was this this one person, who was just close to me, that I'm extremely worried about. Well, there's a few people <laughs> in my family and friends who whom I'm extremely worried about. But it was just this particular person that that I was praying for, and I. I don't know what to do to help them. You know, and I, was, I was talking to Jesus Christ about it. You know, what can I do? What more can I do? And it was started off normal and, and what you think, you know, you know, keep going, keep praying, keep trying, keep praying. And sometimes that, that's all we can do, which I think I mentioned that in one of my videos. Sometimes all you can do is pray. But I, you know, I was really worried. I was really concerned. My emotions were getting in the best of me and I think that is where Satan snuck in. He just like the snake he is slithered out in there. He started to talk with me, you know, keep going, there's so much you can do. Um, turn your works into prayer, do loving things and, and nice things and, and, and give it to God and, and he will use it. And you know Satan knows exactly what to say. Now, Satan knows the scriptures, Satan knows the Bible, Satan knows. So don't think that he doesn't know what faith is, what pertains to faith, and that he won't use it against you to trick you, because he totally will. So, you know, I'm, I'm conversing with unbeknownst to me is Satan thinking it, it's the Lord, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, that's good. I said I can do good things, turn it into prayer, and turn it into prayer for that person. And... But I was still really worried, I was still really concerned that they weren't going to get into heaven. That their soul's in danger, that they're just, they're, they're going to hell, they probably won't even make it to purgatory. And that's when Satan said, whom I thought was the Lord, well, you can use your soul. And I was really confused for a moment. I was like, I can use my soul, and he said yes. And I was like, well, how can I use my soul to save this person's soul? Because that's what I'm really concerned about. 
give your soul to me, and that person's soul will be saved. And I was so taken aback. But once I heard that, I was like, whoa, hey, red flag, this is not right, this is wrong. The Lord would never ask for this. This has to be the work of Satan. And sure enough, once I said, you know, be gone, Satan, in Jesus Christ's name, I pray. It was, it was gone. Um, my emotions got back to, to normal. And I was just bewildered. I was baffled that I so easily fell into Satan's trap. And how easy it was for him to just easily attack me. Um, hitting my most vulnerable point where I clearly became stronger against his other attacks and he found the perfect way to sneak in. And it shook me and it made me realize, okay, <laughs> I'm not exactly where I kind of want to be in my faith. I obviously need to keep going. I need to become stronger. Um, Satan is always going to attack me. So I need to be more aware of my surroundings and what's going on. And I can't let my guard down. I let my guard down and that's where he stuck in. You know, St. Teresa of Avilia, I, I love her. She's one of my favorite saints. Um, she has writings called The Interior Castle, where she talks about the different levels of prayer and how you move up in these levels and there's still levels where Satan can get in. And he actually snuck in. There, there is, you can reach a level where you're just in complete communication with God. And, and St. Teresa of Avilia was so close to God so me amazingly open to God. There was times where she would literally just, just levitate uh, to the point where she actually begged Jesus, you know, please stop making me levitate in public. It's embarrassing. Um, so, you know, I, I pray a lot to her to help me in prayer. And I pray to St. Ben Benedict to help me against evil attacks. And obviously uh, to Jesus Christ and God our Father and the Holy Spirit to make me more wise against Satan's cunningness because God's wisdom will always prevail over Satan's cunningness. You know, the, the, the evil one will never be as wise as God. And that's what I can only hope for so I can recognize the next time he tries to attack. And that's just like a little warning that I wanted to give to all of you to make you all aware because as you go through your journey, Obviously, Satan is going to find ways to sneak in and pull you back to him and away from God. Uh, but you have to keep going. You have to be strong against those attacks. So, that's kind of what's been going on with me and my journey, and my faith, and my experience. Whatever I called this series, I don't remember. <laughs> that's me, though. I don't remember what I had for breakfast this morning. But, um, thank you all so much. Keep going in your journey. If you want to share your journey or have any questions or comments, but you want to remain anonymous, I do have that uh, Your Journey, Your Experience uh, Google form that you can anonymous, anonymously fill out. So if you don't want to post it publicly on YouTube, there's a link in the description. You can do it there and, and make your comments, your questions, um, and share your journey. Because I think it's a beautiful thing to hear how other people are doing in their faith and how they're growing in their faith. I, I really love it. So thank you all so much. Thank you for helping me in my journey and, and, and growing. And I hope you're all doing well too uh, as we try to keep faith alive in this world. Right. Thank you all and I'll see you all next time. Take care.